Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today I wanted to make a video about utilizing the monthly notes pages. And I feel like some people are kind of not sure how to use these, so I've brainstormed a few ideas on what you could do with this page. And then I also want to show you what I do with this page. So a couple of ideas are making a New Year's resolutions or goals plan of action. So something we do during the year is we completely lose track of what our New Year's goals were and don't even bother working towards them anymore. So the monthly notes pages would be a really good place to put a plan of action for your goals and what tasks you specifically are going to be doing to keep up with those goals. I think that would be a really good use of this page. Another good use of this page would be memory keeping. So just writing brief snippets about all of the best memories you had from that specific month and maybe even putting in a picture or a sticker that reminds you of certain part of the month. That would be a really nice way to utilize this page. Another great way to utilize it would be for fitness tracking. So you could make a monthly calendar of what workouts you plan to do during the month or um, make a calendar to track your weight each week, make a list of goals for what you hope to accomplish during the month as far as health and fitness goes. That's also a really great idea for this page. And then there's also what I'm going to be using it for, which is finances. I'm going to be using this page for my monthly finances. So I'm kind of basing it on the little finance set of stickers. I'll link it below if I can find it from Sweet Kawaii Design. I actually used that set in my January notes pages, which obviously I can't show you because it has all my personal money and bill information on. So I'll, that's why I'll try to link it down below. But I'm going to try and come up with my own little um, arrangement on the page sort of based on what she had made. Sorry, I need a drink of coffee. So, let's get started. The things I've pulled out are this set of um, iridescent heart stickers, since it's obviously February, so if I want to decorate, I'll use those. And then I pulled out the red and white and the pink and white striped washi strips that I had purchased from Planner Kate a good long time ago. And then I pulled out these different colored dots from Blushing Cuties. So I'm just kind of going to wing this and we'll see how it comes together. So up top in the flag area, and I'm sorry I'm really bad at writing on the planner while it's at this angle while I'm filming so it may end up being sloppy, but I just want to write monthly finances. So the first thing that I want to section out, I guess, are my bills and expenses. So I think I'm going to use these red washies and just kind of make a little title area. At the very top. Kind of hard to pull up. And since these are kind of waxy, I'm going to use my Sharpie to write on them. So let me just make sure my Sharpie is nice and inky. bills and expenses. Okay. And for that section, I've kind of estimated that I might need 10 lines. So I'm going to use, hmm, which color should I use? Maybe I'll just go ahead and use the red, since I used the red for the stripes. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually need ten spots, but I just thought that was a good rough estimate. And then I can write what the bill is, the date it's paid, how much was paid, and then if it's something like a credit card where I'm working to pay it off, I even have space to write a second payment and how much I put on it. So there's lots of space there. And then next I want to do, the four other sections I'm going to do are income, savings, goals, and to do. So I think I'll go ahead and do income and savings next because I feel like they can sort of go on the same rows. I'm going to do one right here. And one right here. And I think four lines each for those would be good too. I'm going to use the pink dots. Oh, I grabbed the wrong color pink. So this is plenty enough room to write which paycheck it is, when, and the amount. And then for savings, you have plenty enough dots to write how much you put in your savings. Oh, these are not lining up well. <laughs> or maybe what you started at, what you added, and what you ended at. I think that's how the Sweet Koi design one was set up. Then I'll go ahead and write on those. These are really hard to write on, these washies. They're very waxy. And then the other two sections I want are goals and to-dos. So, your goals, it's pretty straightforward. What do you plan to accomplish this month financially? And then to-dos, what do you need to do to get there? I think I'll leave a little extra space for those ones so you can write out if you really want to. And then I'll add in some dots for those as well. I might run out of that color of pink. Maybe I'll switch to a different pink for these ones. You can hardly even tell it's different. super bad at lining up these dots, but it doesn't matter because honestly, except for this video, no one's ever going to see this page anyway. Okay. So then this is goals. 
I hate writing on this washi. I'm not using this one to write on ever again. cute except for the marker not really working on that washi and just to spruce it up a little I'm going to add in a few little hearts just to make it kind of cutesy and then maybe one in the corner So that's how I'm going to be utilizing my monthly notes page. I'd like to know how you guys utilize your monthly notes page. So if you post it on Instagram, be sure to tag me and let me know that that's what you're sharing with me. And if you want to just let us know down below in the um, comment section, then please go ahead and do that. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And... I don't know what else. Subscribe if you'd like to stick around for a while, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!